Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Alex Antuna, and today I'd like to talk about creating, I guess like a decal or a sticker onto a model inside a Marmoset. So I looked online and I found a few videos, but they didn't really kind of direct me to what I really wanted to find as far as a decal or a sticker. And there might be a video out there, but I didn't find anything. So I decided to share what I, I know now <laughs> in creating this. So what I did was download this cupcake on the little image that you see here from the internet, removed out the background and saved it as a PNG for transparency. Uh, what I like to do is apply this to this model right here and actually make it like a little decal sticker. So I'm gonna move this to the side. And what we wanna do is actually go into your texture project. So now, if you watched other videos for Marmoset, you've already gone over this part of it. This video isn't really about creating a texture project, moreover, creating the brush to make a decal. So we've got our little layers in our window. What we wanna do is go to our little brush, paint new layer, let's apply that and it makes a layer. All these are toggled on, we can toggle just probably albedo and roughness if we really wanted to, to make it different than everything else and not affect all the other things because I don't really have anything else like AO, displacement, I don't have an emissive, I don't have a bump map, I could make one and a normal, I don't really have that but I could make one too. Let's go ahead and narrow it down to just roughness and albedo off so now all these other little layers at the bottom kind of go away as you see what I'm gonna do is bring in that image let's go ahead and bring it to this grab our cupcake so now it's inside of our little albedo drop down and what we want to do is apply it to this to this model right here and so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tool settings here and these these tool settings are gonna help to get um, the brush set correctly so that it does apply to it the right manner so as you can see I'm gonna drop down this projection right here because the next step you're gonna to want to kind of follow let me make this uh, an outline right here you're gonna to want to follow this right here this UV projected method because if we don't use this uh, projected method and then we go ahead and try to draw onto the mesh you're gonna see that it just creates more or less a UV layout to put that texture on there. And it's using UVs and that's correct what it's supposed to do. But that's really not what we want. We want it to actually be a sticker, like a decal. So what we're gonna do is drop down to fit to brush. And what that's gonna do is make it the size of this brush. If I click on the model, there you go. You can actually see that it's a decal. So, a little a little about this you're gonna see when we zoom in you're gonna see that it's kind of gradient on the edges if you want a little like a stamp you can actually go in here and then stamp it now now that you can see that the contrast difference between the left and the right the other thing is that it's not facing upright this I kind of discovered today let me go ahead and remove this right here let's clear this out and what you can do besides being able to um, scale up and down your um, your brush you can actually uh, let's get that in here if you hold control and right click you can scale your brush up and down that's neat and all but what if we want to make it upright so if I click it it's sideways we can also hold control and shift and click and drag and this will actually rotate that little brush I kind of discovered this a little bit before taking my lunch today you know it's just like okay it's like Photoshop or any other program that you know you just kind of want to go in there so now you can actually see that this decal can actually be manipulated and moved so not only can we make the brush bigger and rotate so we now have a way to start putting decals on there so if you want to put a little ice cream or uh, cupcakes all over your model then, you know you can feel free to do that on here we can rotate it again click it we can adjust the jitter 
not the jitter, the angle. This angle makes a difference. And this is what we're moving really. Your angle and then your size. The hardness up. Went back to default because I put undo, but you can see right now if I move this around, boom, cut cupcake right there. So let's rotate all the way around 360. So now we got another cupcake, boom, cupcake. Cupcakes all day long. So I hope this helps. This is a, re a really in-depth uh, video. It's just really a really short video. And I was looking online to try to find something. <laughs> I didn't find much, but what, you know, if you start taking things apart and start going back and forth and reverse engineering stuff, you'll find a way. I guess I'll go ahead and point out this. Um, the reason why I kept running into a roadblock and thinking that I could just do a brush texture, I would do a brush texture here. Let's go ahead and remove this, turn this off, and let's do a brush texture. What this is going to do, it's not really going to apply that texture to it. It's just going to carry this color from that over. So if I turn it to some kind of crazy color, you'll see. And that might work. That might be like a stencil. If you want to do a stencil from the cupcake, that could work. But you're not going to really get what you what you wanted out of it. I do like that this shows the, the layout of the brush. So let's see if we turn this on, see if this helps. Let's see if that kind of helps anything. Yeah. Okay. Not, not really. So, but you get the idea. There's different methods. I was going this route on the side and that didn't really help me any. So we can clear this out and go from there. So if next time you want to add a decal, or a sticker to your model like uh, some graffiti or you know whenever you go to the city and you see a lot of stickers on the those posts or for parking <laughs> signs you can add a lot of these little cupcakes to it so uh, that's all I got for today just a short video I hope it was informative and tune in for the next video thanks for watching